So guys, this is not even gonna be aesthetic. <laughs> um, I'm actually trying to hurry up right now because somebody who's supposed to be taking a nap, she can't get comfortable and she's waking up. Let me hurry up. I'm just going in with my skin fix. This is like the best moisturizer ever. I don't even have time to, not even have time, but I can't find a shirt. And this one, she put her milk on it this morning. Threw up, not threw up, but just her baby milk. Oh, going in with my favorite sunscreen, the Everyday Lotion SPF. Yeah, this is not gonna be like a little montage, but this is a 24 hour day or 12 hour day with the newborn. I'm coming, mama. All right, not even gonna put perfume on because again, oh, <laughs> this shirt is, has milk on it. Mama wasn't gonna leave that baby. You know that? You're just sleepy and you couldn't get comfortable. Oh wow, this is your first time on my channel. Good morning, Bubba. They love to see their baby. She's okay. See? She's fine. Welcome to 24 hours with the newborn and this is my ghetto morning right now. <laughs> But I was able to at least brush my teeth, which y'all didn't see that. But I was able to at least brush my teeth, uh, do my facial stuff. I'm really not hungry, so I might do like a protein shake, feed her. You ready to eat? Are you hungry? Let's get through this vlog, guys. We're gonna get through it together. You ready to get your diaper changed? Actually, let's take this off. Let's see. You have any gas? Hmm? You have any gas? Whoa! Whoa! Good job! Let's try one more. Good job, mama. Let's massage that tummy. This is what I try to do sometimes with her when I'm changing her diaper. I like to massage her tummy to create some room in there. If she might be gassy, little bloated. So I use Pampers, either the sensitive ones or the, um, I can't really remember, I'll show y'all. And then I use the Pamper wipes too. And I really like the sensitive ones. These have a scent to it. A baby fresh smell and I really don't like scented stuff but that's what we work with it doesn't really do anything to her like negatively it's just so strong but it was a gift and I'm grateful and we use pampers right pampers are honest hi mama Lay right here just for a moment though Okay, so when I'm fixing her bottle, I always clean it. I use Dapple Baby. Um, last night, I actually sterilized all of her bottles and nipples. I just take them, squirt it in here. The bottles that I use are Philip Avant, Avant, however you pronounce it. I use the glass ones and the plastic ones.
Okay. All right, let me fix her bottle. So what I do is we use a Brita um, to make her fill with water. And I just boil it because I know she likes warm water sometimes. The formula I use is Kindermill Organic Formula. Yes, I'm a formula mom over here. We don't do no shaming. You know what I'm saying? A fat baby is a a fed and healthy baby is all that matters. Okay. You don't want it? Y'all, sometimes she does like this back and forth thing where she, it's like she's hungry, she wants her food. But then she doesn't. What? Do you want it or not? Hmm? Yes. Y'all, this is like, <laughs> good job. Maybe you have to burn, good job. Just knowing the cues of your baby, and then sometimes it's like you think you know what they want, but it's not what they want. I love you. You are smart. You are a great friend. You are a great daughter. You are discerning. You love God with all of your heart. He is who you think of first when you need something. Yes, Jesus loves you. Mommy and daddy loves you, but Jesus loves you more. When you walk into a room, things are gonna change because you have that ability to. There is power and authority in you that's been given to you by the Father. You don't have to be scared or afraid of nothing. You don't have to back down to anything, to fear. You tell fear to back down and I always know faith can move mountains. You are chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You are on purpose, mama. I love you. Okay guys, my camera died and I have to charge it and I can't find my other batteries, but She's down. I knew she was sleepy. Um, but I'm about to just drink my protein shake. It is 9.54 a.m. This is really her nap time. My nap time is between 9 and 10, I mean 11 o'clock. Typically, I try to, um, y'all, this is a below me. <laughs> I, um, it's still morning time, so it's really nothing for me to clean. So I'm actually going to take this time to settle down, chill out, and probably go to sleep because that has been my biggest downfall. So, drink this and... Yeah, chill out. Don't talk about my shirt, y'all. And she put another one on it. <laughs> Mom life. Who's awake? Is that my Kari? <laughs> oh! Uh, you don't have to do that. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> yes. Girl. <laughs> You have such a beautiful smile. Yes, you do. Hey guys, I'm still at home. Say we're still at home. Um, <clears throat> I'm about to clean her tongue. 
This is what I use to clean her tongue, just these little organic mouth things, and I, I wet them. But after she eats, so that she doesn't get thrush. She caught thrush once in the very beginning. And when you do this, it's okay if they gag. <laughs> you gotta get in there. Good job. Let me just show you guys right quickly how I pack her bag when we're leaving. I typically process how long we'll be gone and try to see how many bottles I should fix. But we're not going to be gone long, so I'm going to pack one bottle. Um, I have this thing, which is by Dr. Brown. Yeah, her godmom got her this. The best thing ever. Um, there's different ones out there. This is basically a formula dispenser thing. So it has three slots. And you put however many scoops. Just remember how many scoops you put in here. And all you do is when you're ready to feed, you just pop this open and the formula comes out. You pour it in the bottle, boom, done. And then I just started this hack because I, she has a bottle warmer, but I only, I only, mm -hmm. we use it. It's very subjective when we use it. Take a, a hydro flask, put warm water or just like some water in it. Like right now, I'm just about to boil just a little bit, make it warm. And she's ready to eat, or your baby, he, she is ready to eat. You just pour the water from your hydro flask in the bottle, put it in here, boom. You don't have to wait for the bottle warmer. Jax, get in the cage doing all that. Her bag is by Itsy Ritzy off of Amazon, and it came with this white holder. Just do that. And boom. Girl, chill out. To put mm -hmm. the glasses on. Why the autumn napkins? <laughs> this is a nice camera, y'all. The lens is about this big. <laughs> My friend gonna upgrade for y'all. Every time. Every time. But no, y'all, I literally forgot I had the camera. I met Leia. We at um, Fowl Lake in Atlanta. You need to come to Fork in the Road. It's in Tucker. It's by um, North Lake Mall. But we just came to eat. And I ordered some groceries to pick up from Publix. Oh, I gotta get tissue. Mama is asleep, but I think she's gonna be waking up soon. You are up. <laughs> she stayed asleep the whole time, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm in Kroger. Alea's in the car with Corey. She literally met me here. Super grateful. I need some tissue. What's this? One, two, three, four. Uh-uh, I need the big old bag. $30? I know you lying. Freaking tissue. Thank you. She about to act up on me. She about to act up on me. Um, I just made it back in the car. I know, mommy. I know. We're 18 minutes from the house. I already picked out. I did a pickup order. So that's good. So, y'all. I just don't like when my baby is crying back there. But yeah, I just had to document that because this is what a day sometimes is like when I'm out with her by myself and my husband is at work. Y'all, this is the part that I hate so much because she's literally, I try to empathize with babies because they cannot communicate. And this is the part that sucks because she's being so patient. And it's in moments like this where I honestly want to cry, but I don't. Like, I have never felt this type of overwhelming. Um, motherhood is overwhelming. Like, 
And social media glamorizes motherhood so much. Granted, it is a joy, it's a gift, it's a blessing. I would not trade my baby for nothing. However, that does not take away the fact that motherhood is it's it's a different type of job. You know how they be like, it's a different type of hood. No, it is a different type of hood, okay? And we often want to put on these capes and be strong as mothers and as women. But at some point, you're going to crack because you need help. And I'm not the type of person that asks for help. And my husband, he gets on to me about it. And he's like, babe, I'm here for that. You know, like, ask me for help. And it's like, I just don't, one, it's, I, it's my pride. But two, it's, I don't want to feel like a burden. You know what I'm saying? And I'm better with it. I've gotten a hang of motherhood for the most part now. You know that she's two and a half months but it is still new and it is a journey every single day but i hate how social media glamorizes this like it's the best thing because every day is not the best day of being a mom and that sounds harsh but it's not that is my reality sometimes i'm like dang like my old life i was able to do this and that and blah blah blah, blah. and though I am grateful to have her here and I wouldn't change it for anything. There are days where I'm like, bro, like, stop crying. Please stop crying. Please just sleep. Please just stay asleep. It's a responsibility that you can't, you can't reverse. She is what I didn't know that I needed and she brings a different level of growth like you don't know what all you can do until you have to do it where you're working with one hand practically almost every day sometimes or you're working through having to stop in the middle of what you're doing to tend to a human who can't tend to themselves and your life is not your own anymore. And you don't realize how selfish you can be and how selfish you are until you have a baby. <laughs> and part of it isn't even selfishness. It's just an honest change that alters everything. Um, but I love you so much. And I would do it all over again for you. And look at her face, her cheeks her round head and she stares at me like right now how she's holding my finger her lips her nose everything and i'm like this is my baby and i wouldn't i wouldn't trade it for the world for a billion dollars i would not trade her this is the hardest hood to be in <laughs> sometimes it's a ghetto hood <laughs> I forget to breathe every day. finally knocked out and I am that that beat me up <laughs> but thanks for tuning in to 24 hours with the newborn she's two and a half months she is growing and going through all of those stages my sister said maybe sleep regression I don't know but um I know that she was just very irritable and sleepy and she was just 
ready to be just like this. And yeah. So thanks for tuning in to this video. Keep going, mama. Keep pushing. But please make sure you breathe and that you're taking care of yourself, your mental health. If you need help, please ask. And I'm talking to myself. The Lord is with you. He's never going to leave you. He's with you on this journey. And sometimes it might not feel like it, but I have to constantly remind myself that God gave me the grace to be a mother to do this. And I can do it but only through him. Um, and you can do it through him too. So, yeah. Good night, guys. Bye.